in this video I'm going to show you how to change uh, the speed sensor when you when you get a check engine light and you have a P0500 speed sensor A uh, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, and the tools oh well, I'm going to be talking about them while uh, um, while I work on them but uh, we're going to have to take off this right here the battery and where the oil filter goes and all this right here and I'll show you guys All right, the first thing you want to do, you want to remove uh, these 10 millimeter bolts. Well, I already did with the 10 millimeter socket, of course, you know. So the next thing you want to do, you want to pull on this tab, take it off. This other one right here, you pull it off. Let's see what this hands better. Hold on, let me Yeah, so uh, so you take push this little tab on the bottom, push in real hard and pull it out. And then uh, <clears throat> this one, you just connect these, these little hoses right here real quick. And this one, and this one right here. Pull it out. And then pull this baby out from right here. You want to pull this tab from right here, get that out of the way. Oh, and then these right here too, get these out of the way real quick. Then you pull this baby out of the way, put it over here. All right, um, now the next thing you want to do when disconnecting the battery, you always want to go with the negative first. So just connect the just connect the negative battery first. Disconnect it, put it right there. Then you disconnect the other one. I don't even think I need to remove the the battery. So the next thing you want to do is remove uh, remove this little clip. There's a little clip, clip right here. Push it on and pull back on it. Set it right over here. Put it in there. <clears throat> All right. After you have loosened up uh, this bolt right here with the 10 millimeter, and there's another one over there. The next one you want to do is uh either i think that, yeah you could do this one right here loosen it up and what you want to do now <sighs> you want to like you want to lift this and pull this out of the way. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. And you got to disconnect this hose right here, too. And you put it over here on the side. Remove that filter. Put it right there. Now, there's going to be uh, more, two more, three more bolts down there. Those are 10 millimeters. Remove those. All right. So, once you remove the three bolts, all you're going to do now is just uh, you pick this up and move it to the side right about here. Now the sensor that we got to remove. Let me use let me use this right here. It's like a point to you guys where it's at. You actually can see it. It's right. This is the bolt right here. That's the bolt right there. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So it's right there. So it's that's the bolt, and then it has a harness. You gotta all you gotta do is just to, to remove it. <clears throat> to remove it, you gotta press on it.
there you go like so you see it popped they even made a little pop sound so now what you want to do you stick uh let me see i think it's a 12 millimeter <clears throat> So it's a 12 millimeter, and um, you start I'm screwing it off. You move it out of the way, this, and you got to be careful because it might be hot. Yeah, not not so bad. You take it off, put it up here so it doesn't get lost. And now this one is going to be a little hard. If I'm not if I'm mistaken, well actually no, not really. This one you just wiggle it from side to side. Wiggle it side to side like 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 this, like that, and as you're wiggling it, you want to pull upward like this, and it comes out. So this, I believe, this is the one that's uh, messed up. This is a uh, speed sensor uh, A. Uh, when you get that uh, engine light, it's gonna give you the code P zero five zero zero speed sensor A. So now we're gonna replace it with the new one, which is right there. Now, before you put it in there, you wanna you wanna compare you wanna compare the the, the magnet on top. Make sure that it's uh, make sure that it's the same height. You know. And by the way, it looks like it. It looks like it is. So we're in we're in business. Uh, before you, you put it in, since this one already has a little bit of transmission uh, fluid, you want to just, you know, add a little bit of around this uh, this little O-ring and you slide it back in there. And then what you do, you reverse the, the you reverse the steps uh, to put everything back to how you took it off. All right, now if it's if it's the if the problem persists and it's not sensor sensor A, which is right there. Right next to the starter, which is that's the starter right there. The other one, the other one is located. The other one is located right, right in here, right in there. You can't you can't see it because I don't have a light, but um, trust me, it's right there. I I know it is because I just seen it. <clears throat> so, so it's in there somewhere. It's right in there, right in here so you remove that one so that's the uh, speed sensor B and this is a uh, speed sensor A oh yeah one thing I forgot to mention is that when you go out there and buy the sensor I recommend you guys get it from the dealer it's cheap it's like about hundred and thirty nine dollars around there 129 online it goes from I seen it from 201 to three hundred dollars so um, yeah, get it from the dealer, okay? And I'm not being sponsored by the Toyota dealer parts, okay? So, uh, like I said, get it from the dealer. It's cheaper, okay? And now uh, we're going to pick up right here my tools, and then we're going to go inside the car, turn it on, and let's see if that check engine line turns back on. All right, here's the schematic. The part that we just changed was this one. This is sensor A. And this should be sensor B. All right. This is, I got this from the Toyota, Toyota parts. They printed it out for me. Now the parts for the Toyota, the first one, it comes out to 123.97. And then the second one to 159.38 for both of them, about $310.27. I only got the first one because that's uh, sensor A. And now we're going to turn on the car and see if that, engine light comes back on or not all right guys so um i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the vehicle right now oh trying difficulties holding this right here so we're gonna turn it on right now and okay as you can see there is no more engine light right there so sensor a it has been confirmed it was the green one it was the first one um and it was replaced so this is sensor a sensor b and we changed this one it was the green one it was uh it was this one right here it was this one 
So whenever you get that uh, code with the OVD2, it says P0500 uh, speed sensor A. This is the one right here. Okay, so um, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, share. You don't have to, but uh, it would really help me out. Uh, thank you once again, and um, have a happy Friday. Peace.